I'm working in Kami as a student and I'm working on a math page and I want to do my work by hand here. I do not want to have to try and type it, but my teacher wants to see my work. So I did it on this piece of paper. Okay. I want to take a picture of it with my Chromebook camera. So I'm going to click on the bottom left hand corner. And if I don't see the word camera, I can type it right here and it will show up. But if I did see it, I could have just clicked it sooner. Uh, now there's my camera. If I want to make sure this icon stays on my taskbar, which mine does, use a two finger click, which is a right click, and choose to pin it to your taskbar. And then you'll never have to go to that circle again because you can find it right there. Uh, to take my photo, if it's showing correctly, which mine is, then I don't have to do anything. But if it's flipped, see that was backwards, then I have to use this button here to flip it. And I did have to do that once here. Uh, so I'm going to make sure my answer is showing. I got to peek around it to see. Once I can see that my answer is showing and is um, adequate to do the job, then I can click this button to hit to take the picture. Picture's taken. I can click down in this circle to get to the picture. There it is. I can see my writing. I can see what I need. I also can see my face, but we're going to take that out in a minute. Up here, I could name it what it needs to be named, which might be the worksheet name and the problem number or something. I'm just going to put worksheet number seven, click off of that. That is now the name and I can close my camera uh, or I can close the gallery and I can close the camera. So here I am back in my Kami assignment and I want to add media and I want to add it from my computer. Patience for a second. So here is my worksheet number seven. If you have trouble finding it, it might have been found easier under images, but here it is and I open and then it is stuck to my mouse. So until I bring my mouse where I want it to be and then I click to drop it, it just follows my mouse around. So I'm not quite there yet. I want to get out my face and my walls. I just want my problem. So I'm going to choose this little box here next to the trash can. That is the cropping box. And I'm going to bring the corners, drag and drop to bring the corners in to get the problem down to what I want. Now, if I click off, I now have the cut problem or I have the cropped problem and I can stick it where I want it. And if it were too big or too small, I have this arrow right here where I can drag it a little if I need to make it smaller or bigger. I can make it fit in my space. So here I've got all my work and then I want to come over here and write my answer. So I'm going to go text box and put my answer right here. Text box and put my answer right here. And it is a negative. No, it's not. It's a positive three. Okay. And if I don't like the size of that, I can change the size right there. And I am all set. When I'm ready, when I finish the whole worksheet and I'm ready to turn it in, remember to hit turn it in and then turn it in again. And you're still not done. Make sure you wait because this part has to happen. So it'll eventually take you back to Schoology, but you're still not done. And it eventually is going to bring up that big K. Here it comes. It does take time, and this is important. If you don't wait through this, you won't end up actually submitting your assignments. You've got to wait for it to get to the K, and then it's got to load, and then you get this, and you still have to hit submit. So it is turn in, turn in, wait for a while, submit, and then you're good. Notice I've submitted this assignment several times. It's because I've made it lots of videos using it. Have a great day.